being able to add more segments to a cube right after you create it. I think vertex selections could also be better. I would imagine Blender uses some sort of invisible radius around your cursor, and as long as that radius doesn't overlap with any of the vertices, then nothing will be selected. Unfortunately, this leads to a lot of dead zones inside your mesh where you can click, and absolutely nothing will happen. One solution is pre-selection highlighting, which would highlight a vertex when you're close enough to guarantee a selection, eliminating any guesswork. Another option is something called lazy selection, where you select whichever vertex is closest to your cursor, regardless of the distance. The lack of dead zones guarantees that you'll always have a selection, which makes it incredibly comfortable, and as you can see, it goes hand in hand with the feedback from pre-selection highlighting. Some tools like Moto even let you toggle either of these things on and off if they're not to your liking. The loop cut tool needs a lot of love. First off, the hotkey is pretty weird, Control R. Right now the tool is active, but there's no indication of it because loops are inserted at the center instead of where your cursor is. While the tool is active, your camera is completely locked. Not that it matters much because if you want to place multiple single edges, you need to keep reactivating the tool again and again. You also have to be careful when using the number keys. For example, when you want to type in large values, say 20, if I ever change my mind and want to go a bit lower, for example to 10, the numbers just keep adding on top of each other infinitely. There should be some sort of timer after which it is safe to type in a new value which will replace the current number of segments. Quick detour to a little program called Anvil. I'm not recommending it, it's just the only other modeling software I have installed other than Blender. While we're here actually, check this out. We can hover over any element, press F to view selected. And I think that's a clever use of pre-selection highlighting. I never had to click on anything. But what I actually want to demo is the insert edge loop tool. So I'll go to edge mode and I can click and place edges wherever I want as many times as I want. Another thing I can do is place it directly at the center. We have a dedicated hockey for that. Or we can even change segment counts. For example, nine, it will space them out evenly, but I can go back to one very easily. So I can increase them, decrease them, no problem using the number keys. Of course, I know you can do that with Blender using the scroll wheel, but sometimes when you want really large values, the number keys are better. We can even insert edge loops across cylinder caps. And you know what's funny? ZBrush can do this too. Blender also has a hotkey to focus on whatever you have selected, which is numpad period. But when you have no components selected, that hotkey becomes useless. I think it should focus on the entire object. So I did that with a script, but not everyone has access to that script. It would be much better if Blender did this natively. And you might be wondering why not simply toggle to object mode, press numpad period, and then go back in. But sometimes you have a lot of modifiers or just heavy geometry, and that toggle operation is just too slow. So being able to do this without leaving edit mode is just really nice. So this isn't a definitive list of things that have to be changed in Blender. It's very personal, you know, just off the top of my head as someone who, uh, likes using Blender for modeling. I'm sure people who use it for different things all have their own wish lists. Regardless of what you think, I wish you a nice day and a tasty meal. Possibly even pizza.